osteoplast and osteoclast. The osteoblast is different from osteoclast. Both cells are needed for bone remodeling. Osteoblast makes bone. Osteoclast removes bone. The shape of these cells is different. The lifespan of these cells is different. There are two completely different cells. The osteoblasts are cuboidal cells that line along layers of immature osteoid to synthesize bone matrix. Osteoclast is a multinucleated giant cell has a ruffled border which touches the bone and increases the surface area for bone resorption. Lifespan The osteoblast lifespan varies. It could be days when they make woven bone. It could be weeks when the lamellar bone is made. It could be years when it becomes an osteocyte. The osteoclast lifespan is days it does not live long, very destructive, so they should not be living forever. So let's talk about the origin. The osteoclasts are derived from the mesenchymal stem cell lineage. What makes the mesenchymal stem cell become an osteoclast? It is transcription factors called CBFA1 and run X2. The osteoplast lineage cells are regulated by various molecules and singling pathways, including the Wnt pathway. The Wnt pathway stimulates the osteoplastic activity and increases bone formation. Sclerostin have inhibitory effect on the wind signaling, reducing osteoblastic activity and bone formation. The osteoclast arises from the monocytes. The monocytes fuse together to form multinucleated osteoclast cells. How the osteoclast becomes distant to be an osteoclast from the monocytes. That needs the help of rank L, which is produced by the osteoplast, and the other factors may be involved also to develop the osteoclast. Rank L is required for osteoclast differentiation, survival, and activity. The osteoplast control the rank L pathway. The PTH receptor on the osteoblast binds to the PTH, which lead to expression of rank L. Rank L binds to rank receptor on the osteoclast to stimulate bone resorption. The osteoclast has rank receptors and calcitonin receptors. The rank L produced by the osteoplast activates the osteoclast and the calcitonin inhibit the osteoclast. Osteoprotegerin OPG inhibit osteoclast differentiation and activation. It is produced by the osteoplast and bind to rank L. It acts like a decoy receptor. The osteoclast bind themselves to the bone through integrin. It is a protein. The function of the osteoplast is to make osteoid bone and control mineralization. It produces collagen type 1, osteocalcin, rank L, and BMP, and makes and secretes alkaline phosphatase enzyme. Osteoclast cell act as a destructive machine. It takes about 100 to 150 osteoplasts to replace bone removed by one osteoclast. It takes about three months 
to feel bony moved by one osteoclast in one to two days. The bone is absorbed at the Hoshib Lakuni. The osteoclast has a ruffled border which touches the bone and increases the surface area for absorption of the bone. As the ruffled border of the osteoclast contacts the bone, it secretes acid that lowers the pH level and the osteoclast then dissolves and absorbs the mineralized bone matrix. Cathepsin K is an enzyme that removes the osteoid at the ruffled border. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.